locked in his hand. Can you see it? Yes, yes, yes. That's the first night I've been, I've been slowing down. So, the question was, why did he say, Danger, I command you to get up now. The psychics, the tarot card readers, the soothsayers, what they would do was, when they would speak to the dead, they would say, I wish you would get up. Look at somebody and say, no power. No power. No power. I just reached for about three of you up in here. Touch your name and say the word that God's getting ready to speak on your life. It's going to have power to deliver. Help me in this house. It's going to have authority. That what is spoken in heaven is going to manifest on the earth. You want to praise him up in here. Touch him and say, God's got all power. He's trying to let the enemy know that what you've been doing, it won't work. Uh, come on, somebody. But your deliverance is going to have a command on it. Your deliverance is going to have, hallelujah, that he's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. Can I get about three believers that were screaming here? I know God is getting ready to wake it up. God is going to do. And the enemy can try to clone what he can do. But he has no power. Some of you have to really understand what the Lord is trying to do. And I'm getting ready to close so that some of you will understand that what God is getting ready to do. That when he comes, there's going to be a breakthrough with power. Somebody ought to help me pray. Oh God, look at somebody and say, you one word away from your deliverance. Huh? Some of you one praise away from your deliverance. Oh my, my, my. Some of you one word away from your deliverance. See, if y'all would have caught that in the spirit, y'all would have went ahead and act crazy up in here. Grab them and tell them, I'm one word away. Huh? I'm one praise away.
Raise your hands. Put on that mantle. Every time I will look over on your side. Oh, shine down on my high. The Lord kept speaking and telling me to tell you that you're one praise away. And it seemed like the attacks of the enemy have intensified even on this week. But God said he's getting ready to come to your house. And he's getting ready to bring new light in your house. And what the enemy trying to do in your house. show you his glory. I heard the Lord say, tell her in this season, don't let nothing distract you and don't let nothing shift you. The scripture said, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. And the interpretation of this mind is let the same mind, that the mind that God is walking with, I'm walking with her. I come on, Hasha. Trouble in my way, but I'm walking with her. I might get discouraged that I'm walking with her. I'm not saying that you're not connected with God, but what the enemy will try to do is try to shift you what God is getting ready to do in your life. But I see a miracle of God getting ready to move in your life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my pastor. Uh, is it all right? I want you to lay your hand even right there in her belly. Y'all help me pray up in here. I see healing even in your pancreas. Somebody ought to help me give a praise.
who comes out of a hosha. But I want to pray for the one. It's like uh, 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 you've been feeling zapped. And, and it's like you feel like you've been drained of your energy. If it's you, I want you to come. You're sleeping, but you're still drained. You're taking energy drinks and all types of different things, but you're still tired. I need you to come. While I was in the room praying, the Lord told me to deal with this on tonight. Because the attack was on me as soon as I hit this city. Thank you, Lord. I would lay in the bed, get up, still drained, still tired. And I kept saying, I feel groggy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak strength now. In the name of Jesus. You know the enemy is really trying to attack you concerning your health and make you feel like how on see all the different things that are happening in your body but the devil is alive but what you've been dealing with is completely warfare but I speak strength to your body in the name of Jesus men of God I want you to just run oh. And whatever way you can praise him, just give him praise. Because he's getting ready to renew your strength. Somebody ought to give him glory.
give him glory in this house. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you now. We thank you. We thank you. And we thank you now for the glory in this place. We speak strength to her body right now. In the name of Jesus. He called on my concept call ya. Thank you, Jesus. You know what? Uh, they used to say, shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. You shake it off, woman of God. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Every false attachment. Shake it off. I need somebody to open up your mouth. Shake it off. What are you talking about? Every attachment that was not like God that tried to get up on you, shake it off. Every spirit, shake it off. Every disappointment, shake it off. Every setback, shake it off. Shake it off and give them glory. Shake it off and give them praise. Blood. 
not only am I desperate enough, but I'm crazy enough, I'm brave enough to believe what he's going to do. Oh, it's on you. You just got to give him glory. Later for who's around you, or later for what they think, you just should go for what you know. Because I see God getting ready to do something new, and he's getting ready to do something awesome. Hot time, hot tea, hot time. Can I get some praises that will give him glory in his house? Oh, 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 
word is the spirit that some of you are looking at it in the natural and you say well I'm going to go ahead and bake pastor a cake he don't need no cake he can buy his own cake but some of you need to sow seed uh, so y'all don't y'all, y'all like me now I can buy my own chicken dinner praise the Lord but what you need to do is sow see we, we want houses and we want cars and we want jobs but oh Lord y'all don't start sitting down on me somebody ought to help me 